again on more disturbing truth now if you know this what's really going on now because in this pandemic how you go get this so-called uprising of the people now after they give you that George Floyd bullshit and the people marching and so-called rioting now they so-called taking down monuments and statues confederate so-called statues but we go get into that and break it down and show you some things because I already told you all the vision for the masses. I told you what the, the George Fly was about. And now you see it extending to even this right here. Why you think they're doing this? These are all Freemason puppets you see on screen. What do you think, people? All right, let's get into the story and break it down on your fox. FOX666 in your morality. <laughs> Well, what started as a movement against Confederate symbols now expands... Movement of Confederate symbols. All of them is Freemason bullshit. 100%. And I told you, the vision time, that's why they're doing this. So watch the people that you're going to see come out for these so-called destroy of the statues and see who they are. Let's see. to other historical mm -hmm. figures, including mm -hmm. former presidents like Jackson mm -hmm. and Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Jackson and Roosevelt. All satanic puppet, but pay attention to the peoples who so-called taking down the statue. Wow, in the name of black people. This is dumb shit right here, people. I told you already they use your prop if you're black. And watch this right here. You believe it's black people really doing this shit right here? All government agent they put uh, on there. And as there calls go. for mm -hmm. removal mm -hmm. grow louder, our next guest vows to protect one of the most iconic mm -hmm. monuments in the world. Why is it the most iconic monument in the world? Why? You never understand, people. Why? I told you it's Babylon. And that's why they can do this right here. And I told you, all Babylon got to fall. That's just what it is, people. The system that they got surrounding the whole thing with your divide and conquer. That's what they're about in America. And this is what they give you right here for, for famous monuments. Some past president that sell out. Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, joining us now is South Dakota Governor Christy Noem. Governor, mm -hmm. we were thinking about you because it seems mm -hmm. like every all, all our monuments and tributes. The so-called governor they're talking about right there with the big neck. Don't believe in them. Everybody on TV is fake. Look at this other female. Don't trust them. Robots, puppets, and everything on the mask. To the past, mm -hmm. under a microscope. Are you concerned that you're going to be the uh, Mount Rushmore is going to be the subject of mm -hmm. protest or mm -hmm. defilement? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it certainly could be, and we've seen some mm -hmm. activity online where people yeah, have made activity. threats to that. Mm -hmm. uh, what yes, my uh, message is? It's all them doing it, people. About SC activity online. It's them doing it. All those rallies, those march, they organize it. The same government people, they're the one who do that shit. Just wake your ass up. They hire some masons, some third degree masons to take down those statues. They work for the government. 100 percent this is that this is no longer mm -hmm. about equality mm -hmm. this is equality. a radical rewriting mm -hmm. of our history and mm -hmm. in south dakota we won't stand for mm -hmm. it uh, this rewrite history the whole history that they give you is fake that's why i told you people don't hold on to what they give you i don't care what it is it's just for their brainwash talking about rewrite history the whole history is fake it's a national monument mm -hmm. uh, the more we mm -hmm. focus on the flaws of these men that are on mm -hmm. our mountain yes the, uh, the less why they on the mountain to begin with they're playing God on earth. You never understand. All of them, they give you fake shit about them. Give them fake agenda to pass. And later on, they, they so-called great man. Are you kidding me? They're the one who set the world for what it is right now. What do you think? Satanic workers. Likely we are to recognize mm -hmm. the virtues and the lessons we can learn from their lives. So that wow. really is the mm -hmm. message that I Let's have for learn. South Dakotans that love mm -hmm. this mountain and Mount Rushmore mm -hmm. for this country, yes. that recognize what it represents to us, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we will what do all. it really represents to y'all in so-called South Dakota where they run nothing but sigh upon the masses. What, what it is to you, what it make you a better person, is just trash. 100% All that trash. we can to make sure that that mm -hmm. message is loud and clear, that we will make sure mm -hmm. that Mount Rushmore stays as majestic as it is mm -hmm. today. How, how do you plan on mm -hmm. stopping it if it does go that far? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, this is obviously a, a federal uh, mm -hmm. a mountain. It is a national mountain. federal mountain. mountain. <laughs> wow. The people sleep. They can't see the brainwash that they got in store for you. The whole history built up of sham. That means it's not real. All fake they give you, 
to make you who you are. You meant it as something that we will partner with them and use the resources mm -hmm. of the state mm -hmm. to make sure that we have security measures in place. Mm -hmm. I won't get into specifics, mm -hmm. but we yes. do have mm -hmm. actions together that yes. we're working on. We, we have the president visiting on July mm -hmm. 3rd, and we're yes. excited mm -hmm. about that. But we also know that this uh, threat to the mountain could mm -hmm. remain in place for quite some time, and we're mm -hmm. prepared yeah, to... already know with the so-called president going all over the place. <laughs> July 3rd is according... But I tell you, people, they're doing all their rallies and everything mm -hmm, in the middle of the so-called pandemic. And I tell you already, people, this pandemic that they give you right here is to just to show the people how dumb they are. That's all it is. It's nothing else. When you see the people rolling around in the mass, they're walking around with the big old ugly mass on their face. It tell you one thing, the whole wide world gone crazy. Be there and be diligent about mm -hmm. protecting it. Yeah, you know, uh, Governor, there are a number of governors across the country who mm -hmm. are not taking the bold stand you are about mm -hmm. not on my watch. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we have heard that mm -hmm. as well from Donald Trump. He's made it very clear. You, you, mm -hmm. you break the law, you're going to mm -hmm. get into trouble. Mm -hmm. yes, Ultimately, mm -hmm. as people look in... And a lot of people don't understand the Donald Trump. You never understand. He's just there to start the race war, the division war. That's what he's about. That's all he's about. So everything come out of his mouth, you're going to find something in it. You understand that he pushing out there. That's just how he do it. He basically going to start the race war. Just remember I tell you. That, and as people feel frustrated, America's spiraling out of control and nobody's mm -hmm. doing anything, mm -hmm. although Donald Trump's trying to. Mm -hmm. Doesn't yes, that... Yeah, that Donald Trump trying to. The people just stupid. They believe that Donald Trump really is for the people. You better wake up. He's just reading from a script. The people who hire him, they're the one who give him the script. The elite people, they're the one who give him the power. You can't have no power on earth unless you go to them. That's what it is. They control money and money is what they call power in this satanic earth. Politically, politically mm -hmm. fire up his base. It does. I think it should mm -hmm. fire up every single American that mm -hmm. loves this country. Uh, mm -hmm. This whole conversation yes. has changed. All they're doing is brainwashing the people, but it should fire you up if you love this country. What the country giving you, they're full of shit. It's gone away from mm -hmm. equality, and it's a radical mm -hmm. movement that's rewriting our history that will take mm -hmm. away all the lessons that we want to teach our kids and oh. our grandkids. Oh, you take away the lesson that you want to teach your grandkids, huh? That you want to. Is it the truth? It's nothing but dumbed down programming for the people. That's what you get. You teach the white kids, you teach the black kids, you teach every fucking race the dumb shit enough to keep them programmed and dumbed down. That's what they're about. Just remember I tell you that. Don't get interested in that so-called monument and statues and even that black life matter bullshit and their marches. Nothing but government shit. Don't participate in it. Bam on. For more on all this, let's bring in Katie Pavlich. She is editor for townhall.com mm -hmm. and a Fox News contributor. Katie, good morning mm -hmm. to you. I want to throw up on this. This is all you know. It's about politics. It's a reason why you see all of this shit about the Confederate statues and monument on this Fox right here. Of course, because they're totally with the Donald Trump. That's how they do it on CNN for the fucking Biden. I mean, a tweet mm -hmm. from the president just moments ago on all of this. He says this, mm -hmm. there will never be an autonomous zone mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. He writes, as long as I'm your president, if they mm -hmm. try, they will and be... And they're using Twitter as a propaganda network to divide up the people in sections. That's what they're doing, people. Why you think Donald Trump using it? And now they're talking about their censor Donald Trump on Twitter. Bullshit on. Met with serious force. Mm -hmm. So, Katie, we wait for continued reaction from the president. We could hear from him just a moment from now as he departs the White House. But mm -hmm. dig into what we saw in Washington last night. Mm hmm. Well, first of all, I think it's important to point out that Washington, D.C. is not just some liberal city uh, in a different state. Mm -hmm. uh, it Look is the capital. Look at cap this shit right here, people. Look at this shit. If you see one black person in sight, let me know. The of the United States of America it belongs to all Americans, mm -hmm. and they have the right mm -hmm. to visit this city uh, without fear of mm -hmm. being caught up in one of these violent mm -hmm. uh, riots and protests. Oh, um, last night, you saw, again, mm -hmm. these violent agitators coming oh. in just across the street from the White House, mm -hmm. trying to set up their own, quote, autonomous zone, taunting mm -hmm. police uh, and trying to take down that statue mm -hmm. of Andrew Jackson. Now, the police wow. seem to have acted swiftly mm -hmm. in preventing them from doing that, but throughout the night, they continue... thinking, like... What black people sit there and say, you know what? We should just take down a statue of the so-called Andrew Jackson. Are you kidding me, people? That's just government shit. 100% they want to put a, a high to those so-called monuments. Don't worry about it. They're not going nowhere. They have them in books and every damn thing. 
The whole history is fake and it's built up of fake people. Their violence, as we've mm -hmm. been noting this morning during the beginning of the show, mm -hmm. they vandalized the church, which was lit on fire mm -hmm. about a month ago. Uh, earlier mm -hmm. this month, President Trump sent the National Guard mm -hmm. um, back after unrest mm -hmm. in the city was quelled. But go. at this point, mm -hmm. it seems like he may need to bring them back. Mm -hmm. And as mm -hmm. you've seen... He may need to bring them back, the National Guard. <laughs> I told you people, they're the one who's doing it. They're the one who start the whole thing to bring out the National Guards in the damn street. Marshall last this time. morning, he's mm -hmm. calling on these folks to be prosecuted to the mm -hmm. fullest extent Look of the law. Dummies. And based how on what the Department of Justice... How dumb can you be, people? How dumb can you be? You're scared of the virus. Wait, it seems like Look he may need to bring them... All of them got something tied around their nose. Wow, you're done scared of the virus, but you have to be in this shit. You can't pass it up. Even though you're dumb enough to believe in the virus... Of course, you're still dumb enough to believe in these shits that you're joining Back. Me, right? There. And as you've seen there this you morning, go. he's course, calling on go. these the folks to be... people. It's the same dummies that believe in the virus take part in this dumb shit right here. I told you, the government people pull them any direction they want. Prosecuted them. to the they fullest extent through. of the law. And based on what the Department mm -hmm. of Justice has been doing over the course mm -hmm. of the past four weeks, mm -hmm. handing down indictments, initiating a number of arrests mm -hmm. uh, for rioters in cities like mm -hmm. Philadelphia and elsewhere. Mm -hmm. They're not locking up nobody. It's them same one doing it. They just want to bring an eye to it. Bring it on Fox News, plaster it all over YouTube to show the masses. Uh, you there should you believe that, that those laws will be mm -hmm. enforced for mm -hmm. uh, unlawfully you, tearing you, down uh, federal statues mm -hmm. on federal property. Mm -hmm. Why they call federal statues? Mm -hmm. I already told you already, people. It's them. The whole system put together. They're the one who put those Freemason puppets right there in monuments. Mm -hmm. You're looking at so much different video that came out of mm -hmm. last night's uh, protest mm -hmm. and out of okay, that new shit. autonomous... This is what they call protest, people. Sometimes they just lie to the masses about protesting. They just show you some fucking video with people, put the fucking monuments behind it and the, and the so-called White House. There you go right there. What do you think? They're full of shit. Where is the people? These are the people. Come on, this is Gabad. Autonomous mm -hmm. zone as it springs up there in Washington, D.C., Katie. Mm -hmm. Our own Brian Kilmeade sat down with the president and talked mm -hmm. to him about, obviously... So they just tie up this statue and just post up there. They're not doing nothing, people. It's Gabad. The same thing you see they do with the Freemason statue they, with the so-called Saddam Hussein. Pull it down. But, of course, I already told you, they always stand because it's in history. There you go. They tied up what they're tying up for. And they still never take it down. Dumb on. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned uh, the, the the attempt to topple the Andrew Jackson uh, Jackson statue mm -hmm. in D.C. But in the wake of these protests, so many mm -hmm. of our historical statues coming down in this country. Mm -hmm. Why is there blue riot right here? What is the purpose for doing it? You're showing the people the video. This is trash. Don't believe in them people. They're all garbage. And I told you, watch the divide and conquer. From the so-called people at Ed, the one that you, you you pay attention to, the one that you see on TV, the one that influences you all day, they're the one who pushing this. Watch this. You refer to Kyrie Irving as a distraction after mm -hmm. he raised concerns. Watch this right here, people. You remember the Kyrie Irving that came out and said he believed that the earth is flat and then he take it back? There you go with the number 11 on. All coding. Pay attention right here because they're the one who dividing the people right here. It's about the NBA restarting mm -hmm. in Orlando. Quit and in your opinion, mm -hmm. taking away from the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. as a taking result away from the Black Lives Movement. Black Lives Matter movement is bullshit. 100% crap. Once they mention that, brainwash. Bam. Because of this, Kevin Durant quickly responded by calling mm -hmm. you a sellout you on go, social media. Sellout. Along with they mention that word, all of them that you see on TV sell out. Kevin Durant, I already break him down and show you. He's another sellout on the masses. Don't be dumb. He's 100% one of them. Posting a mm -hmm. shot of you airballing a jumper. So, Perk, mm -hmm. I got to ask you, what's your response? That's how they divide you up. Here's my response. Mm -hmm. KD, my brother, mm -hmm. just oh, because yeah. I don't agree mm -hmm. with what Kyrie got going on, mm -hmm. don't mean I'm not fighting the same fight mm -hmm. that you all are. You ain't fighting no damn fight. You're just a sodomite on the masses. And this one used to so-called play in the NBA. And I told you people, can't play. A lick a ball. Period. I normally hear me say that you probably just look over it. They can't play no ball. This one right here for sure can't play no ball. And they put him on. Now he retire. He on ESPN as you can see him right there with the dim eye. Mm -hmm. I am fighting for African Americans. I've oh, been really? here. And that don't make you a sellout. That don't make me a sellout. Because All I of y'all is sellout. 
all of y'all, from Jay-Z, Kanye West, all of y'all that pushing that shit on the black people. Eating out the devil's pot, come rich and, and famous, and then you're acting like you're going to shit like the people on the street or the regular people. That's dumb. It's time for the people to start buying to that. Jay-Z and them and these fagabats, they never go to shit. They're just there to brainwash the people. They call gatekeepers, so you don't say shit. Have a different opinion or disagree with someone else that's going about it another way. I actually applaud anybody that's fighting a fight right now in America. So that's the first thing first. Second of all, listen here. You don't know what I'm going through right now in my personal life fighting a fight. I live in a million dollars. Yes, listen, people. Pay attention right here. And I'm going to show you because all of them say the same thing. Remember I break down the Ryan Clark so-called on ESPN with his so-called son in the drive to standing up, knocking on people's window, by asking them to buy food? Pay attention right here. My personal life, fighting a fight. Mm -hmm. I live in a million-dollar community. A I'm fighting a million-dollar community. A million-dollar community. Hmm. The community value a million-dollar? Hmm. Okay. That sounds like the projects. Okay. I fight every day mm -hmm. in my own community. I'm the only African-American family that live in this community. And my wife why, and I have to... Why did you move there? I don't understand. This is weird to me, people. Why these people always tell you they're the only one in that community is black? Why are you in that community? Why? What, what, what happened? Oh, I forgot. You want to be rich and all right with the white people. Get your ass out of here. That's just dumb. Why would you move in a community with nothing but white people and you're the only black there? Why? Dumb on. Fight a ESPN fight with our home people. association and they neighbors. all fake. Everybody on ESPN. Every day through mm -hmm. email. So mm -hmm. so much that we so we not even comfortable wow. with having our kids go outside without supervision. Wow. You don't know there what you I'm go, people. He not even comfortable letting out his kids without supervision. But you're gone there to live. Why did you go there to live? I don't understand. The black neighborhood ain't good enough for you. I told you already, people, they're the same one who putting you down and at the same time coming to your rescue. It's dumb now. Time for you to see it. What's wrong, people? They don't want to live with you if you're black because <laughs> it's a low-down neighborhood. You want to go live with the white people. But at the same time, he tell you that he's fighting for black. Oh, okay. That's why you're moving with the, with the white people so you can fight for black. That's just bullshit, people. And at the same time, he scream racism. Dumb the fuck Going on. through for us fighting the fight. Get when out I have here. to drive my oldest son to middle school to go to his workouts, mm -hmm. and I pull up, mm -hmm. and there's 70 kids out there, uh -huh. and there's only two African Americans, and he's one of them. Um, what I tell you, people, why is you following up the white people then? Why? Why? Why you don't like the black people place? Why you don't like the places where the black people are so called? You are part of the, the Black Life Movement bullshit. You, why, do, why don't you do that? Why don't you stay where the black people at? What's the problem with you running behind white people? Wow. And then you blame the white people for that? You want to go live in the white people neighborhood. I don't understand, people. This is bullshit. Every one of them tell you the same damn thing. The neighborhood that they live in because they tell you that they're rich. Yes, only them alone black there. Wow. And I got to wow. stay out there to make sure he okay. Wow. Because just four days ago... That's the they... life you choose, dude. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is dumb right here, man. Wow. I told you, divide and conquer, people. That's all it is. Why you think it's so stupid? It's for the stupid people. Two miles away from my house, mm -hmm. they found the African-American teenager hung, wow. dead. Wow. And Damn, him. that's another lie again. But they find an African-American teen hung dead. There you go, people, because it is a white neighborhood. Wow, and that's where you carry your kid to go live? Wow, the hanging African-American kid there. Wow, this is a joke right here, people. Where is he live? All right, run your address, nigga, where you live. Tell the people where you live so we can find out if somebody was found hanging over there. Where you live? This is a 100% bullshit right here. And I've been on multiple platforms. Mm -hmm. I've used my social Before media to speak out since mm -hmm. this first started. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can go look on my Twitter. Mm -hmm. You can go look on yeah, my so Instagram uh -huh. or whatever. I didn't mm -hmm. been on First Take. Mm -hmm. I didn't been on uh -huh. The Get Up, ESPN. All ESPN. You mentioned ESPN twice. And you mentioned Twitter. All government networks. Mm -hmm. Preaching out about Black Lives Matter uh -huh. and fighting the fight. Oh, I was fighting one of the first of ones to call out. Who you're fighting and what kind of fight is you fighting? That's just dumb. 
You can't sell the smart people that shit no more. What is you fighting for? We have too much sodomites that they fighting for black and black people in the same spot. Move on. NBA owners mm -hmm. about uh, NBA owners. speaking out and taking action Get on what's going on in America. Bullshit. Followed up by a phone conversation mm -hmm. an hour and a half long mm -hmm. with Danny Ainge. Wow. So don't tell me nothing about wow. being a sellout. Because that ain't, yeah, that ain't even out. for me and you, brother. Yeah, you because are you know sellout. All of them is sellout. Every one of them that you see on TV brainwashing the dumb people, of course they sell out. They sell out for riches. That's what they do. <laughs> you like you're not getting it. The sellout don't mean nothing else. It's not two words. It's one word. It's sellout. All of them is 100% in. So don't trust them when they bring the divide and conquer. Kick it away with a bomb.